I think the crack's getting bigger. It is? I think so. Hi, we are Bo and Brandy, and along with our salty dog, Una, we live aboard our tiny floating home, Sersha. Last week, we started our longest sail yet from Puerto Rico to Grenada. And after five days of smooth sailing, it's been pretty, pretty chill. The sea state's pretty calm, so that's been nice. At 11 p.m. and 60 nautical miles away from our destination, we find a crack in our hull and start to bring on water. This is the raw footage we took during the following days. What do you want to try to do? We were not really focused on the quality, but more on just capturing the event as we do our best to handle everything that is happening. You want to tell them what's going on? So, Brandy woke me up. I was outside home and we're I didn't wake you up. I, w I woke up. Oh, wait. <laughs> Can't even think. Uh, I was outside helming, Brandy woke up, she heard the bilge running and heard a lot of- I could of just hear the water. I could hear the, wa I could hear the water like gushing in and I know we're beating into it and I know the water's coming in, but I don't know why, if it, that's too much water, so I told him about it. So I went ahead and heaved to and checked up at the bow and looks like we got a crack up there towards the bow in the hull. We're like 67 um, nautical miles from Grenada. Yeah, so we're still a little ways out, but we're gonna try to change our tack, get on a starboard tack. And hopefully it'll lean us out of the water far enough to where the water's not gushing in and there's not a lot of pressure. I'm gonna try to use some Fast Cure 5200, um, see if I can't, you know, at least slow the leak if not have to stuff it with something and try to get there as soon as we can and hope our manual or our automatic bilge uh, lasts if not we have a manual bilge uh, we we pull out. either way we should be able to get there in time as long as the crack doesn't get any bigger uh, otherwise we're gonna have to think of something else stuff some cushions in there or whatever uh, so wish us luck was it gushing before? I don't, I, here and there, I guess. Is it gushing a lot? It's gushing, yeah. A lot? I don't know what a lot is. Not a lot, a lot, but. Can you stick a towel in there for now? Um, sure. All right. Currently sticking all the towels in. Unfortunately, we were unable to stop the water coming in, and now the water's coming in even more. We did our best trying to stuff towels down in there. Our little 1100 gallon per hour pump seems to be doing okay. That plus us helping it with the manual pump out there. We've got over 60 nautical miles to go. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can, you know, keep that up. And if not, we're gonna have to heat two and reassess, see what what else we can do. How's it going? The 
Yeah, Bill, so it's good. Seventeen. Yeah. Keep pumping. Thank God. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. Thank God you got sleep today. Yeah. So beetle tape and then put the towel on top, or? Well, beetle tape, try to like squeeze it in there. Yeah. And see how well it does. But if you feel like you're gonna crack the fiberglass, ease up, you know, don't, don't overdo it. Okay. The bilge is pretty dry. It not, is? It's not dry dry, but it's, it, I can see the bottom. Is the pump still having to work? Yeah. I think so. From you putting butyl tape? No. From it hitting. The beetle tape won't stay. It always happens in the middle of the night. What do you want to try to do? Are you heating two? If we heave two, I'd like to be heave two on this side, so we'd have to tack first. I mean, it's st still steady stream. So when you're putting the butyl tape in? It's gushing in and it's not doing anything. It's just flexing. So the towels work the best? Yep. Um, can For you now. put more towels in there? More towels, Buna Bear. Pump, pump, pump your boat. Roughly up the sea. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is sailing vessel Sertra. We are currently taking on water faster than we can alleviate. We do have a few pumps, but they don't seem to be keeping up. Your current location? Our current location is 12 degrees, 45.277 north, 62 degrees, 22.607 west. Alright, Jewel, and we're heading to Grenada? Yeah, headed to Grenada, and we developed a crack in the in the hull. This is happening. The manual pump's out. The sea pump's not working. The other pump can't keep up. He called Mayday. Bo's gonna try to fix it from the outside. Pretty sure the engine's already underwater. really dangerous for you to be in there, huh? I'm gonna just jump in right now. Can you watch? Well, keep doing what you're doing. This is happening. We've tried to plug up the hole. But it's just gushing through.
who answered our mayday brought us some stuff to put on it. Bo just put it on the inside and now he's going to go put it on the outside. He did put a patch on the outside but it's not holding right? No, it's just butyl tape and the oh. waves are kind of just knocking oh, it yeah. off. I tried to sand it first to get a solid but it's not good. quite working. I was able to get most of the water. It's just in the bilge. Bo's outside in the boat patching up the outside of the boat. I'm going to do the inside. He's already done some. Oh boy. Nothing's coming out. Wait. Okay. I can see. Shoot. I see a little bubble. Dang it. Ah, uh, it seems to be working. So, um, Thankfully, we've avoided sinking. And thankfully, those fishermen were out and about and five nautical miles away when they heard our mayday. Last night, we had enough pumps running, like we could handle it. Um, we were still moving, but the situation just got worse and our pumps one by one were just failing on us. Even the manual. Yeah, even the manual pump. Uh, we were we were using it so much, and it's a brand new pump. I had just replaced oh, all did the you? yeah, I yeah. replaced the diaphragm and everything. Um, so, but just well, when you're acting like it's your job. Yeah, we were. I was working that thing like an old lady at the slot machines. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we're waiting for the stuff to finish curing just trying to pick up and clean up. Every towel that we own is wet. We try to shove those into the hole. Bo did fix the uh, fix the hole for a minute before they got here, so that was good. So we were able to kind of keep up with the water flow inside. But it wasn't working the way yeah. I was hoping. Uh, I was just trying to stuff butyl tape in there, but because of where it's at, at the bow, it's it's at a really bad spot where um, it's in and out of the water. So the, it's just constantly being ripped out. We're so grateful that we're still sitting here floating. The bilge just finished pumping the rest of the water out. So grateful for those guys to and to give us that green goop because that stuff is it's definitely working. They're I'm, still actually, I can see them. I mean, they're still floating out there. They kind of are, have been waiting to make sure what we're going to do and check, check on us. They're from Grenada and, and they are. I can't wait to meet up with them over yeah, there and just give them the biggest hug. Super friendly guys, yeah. But uh, lifesavers. It's just so terrifying because this is our own. This is our home. This is everything we own. But we're just so, we're grateful that we are okay, that it's the middle of the day, that these guys are around here, that we have the whole fixed right now, and hoping, 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 and praying, and calling every angel, universe, whatever, to get us to Grenada so we can get her out on the heart, get her fixed, and, and just... Keep on going. Sleep. <laughs> yeah. Have some coffee. It's just, we're on, like, super adrenaline right now. I... I I'm not even tired. I'm just Amped strung up. out. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's yeah. definitely scary. And let's just hope that we get there and we can get this all fixed. Yeah, and you know, it's I was telling Brandy when it was all going down. I was like, look, it's just stuff. Like she was she was getting upset that we were gonna lose the stuff, and I was just like, look, 
it's tough. There's people here, they can help us, they can save us. And we literally, literally did everything that we could think of. Like, yeah. I jumped in the water and Brandy's like, no, I don't want you to go in the water. I'm like, screw that. I'm I was gonna... like, get in the water. <laughs> As it started hitting my ankles, I'm like, D just go get in the water. And he, it, it worked, so I was able to drain some out. I, we tried to like suction water, like water out. We tried the wet vac. We were pumping that um, manual pump. We put in a salt water pump. We just kept stuffing towels where the crack is. And every time the boat would flex, it would just lose the towel. So that, we just kind of kept trying to keep them up with it. And it was just overwhelming and but you don't want to give up. No, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I just kept going. Like, I know we can do this. We yeah, can't yeah. give up. And it wasn't bad at first, but as we tried to move towards Grenada, it just got worse and worse. Yeah. Um, you know, which is it's likely because we're we're still beating into it to try to and get the there. And the sea state is just like right on top of each other waves. It's really windy, so yeah. we're going fast. So we're probably gonna just take it really easy when we do go. <laughs> yes. But we're here. We're safe so far. We got we got friends, so we feel good. All right, back, back to, to making this happen. All right, Bo is checking to see if the patch that we put on uh, is holding. It was. And it has been the bilge is dry so that's good we are about to set off the guys who answered our mayday is actually hanging around they're fishermen that are going to be offshore for the next couple of days so we have access to them if they need any uh if we need any additional help or additional goop that they they supplied us so how does it look looks good had to get help that we let it cure a little bit longer because there's no soft spots now. It's completely hard as a rock. It's around probably an extra two inches on either side of the crack, so. About how long is the crack? I didn't know. It's like it. two feet. Uh, you know, yeah, maybe? it's like, probably about that long. Is that two feet? Yeah. Roughly. Well, we don't know. Maybe we hit something. Maybe it's just from beating into it. We're not sure. But, uh,. Wish us luck. Here we go. Thankfully. We're so exhausted though. We've been going extremely slow. We're averaging a knot an hour. We've literally gone 16 knots in 16 hours. So. And that's, we're doing that on purpose because we don't want to risk it basically. We don't we, push it. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't know how well luck. this epoxy is going to hold. And since we're still kind of heading in the direction where the waves are, the waves are really choppy right now, we don't want to do a lot of slamming. We don't want to compromise the integrity of it. I mean, the, the hole is, the cut is pretty big, so we don't want to yeah, risk and there, it. And there are, um, there are still holes that are weeping water. Yeah. And it, any kind of impact force that we put on it might reopen the crack. So we just don't want to take that risk. We'd rather get there in a couple days than, you know, not get there at all. So. 
<laughs> we're gonna test it out and see by raising the head sail if we can get at least three knots because we think that maybe won't be as bad but if we start slapping it all then we'll go ahead and take it down we've also talked about putting the storm jib up just to add an extra knot because if we can go two knots then we are about 50 nautical miles away from Grenada at the moment and if we can at least bring it up to two knots we might make it there in a day instead of two days at the knot that we're going right now so but we're just grateful we're still afloat this morning was the most the best sunset sunrise I've ever seen I was just so thankful that we're still here and just it just seems like it was a nightmare which I think it was I'm just gonna mark it up as a nightmare from it's just all so surreal still I still don't even feel like it happened and I just can't wait to get to Grenada and get her up on the heart and just get it fixed So the patch has come loose a little bit. We were going through a storm and the, the waves got really strong and we ended up slapping a couple times and I think it broke the bottom of the patch loose. So we were able to stuff up some um, towels and I think that the area where the main hole is is actually still, is still patched. It's just leaking a little bit from the bottom. So I'm just keeping an eye on it while Bo has slowed the boat down dramatically. We're on a starboard tack, right? Yeah. We're on a starboard tack right now, so it's not really bringing that much water in. It is really hard to maneuver right now because the waves are strong. How far away are we? 18 nautical miles. We're 18. 18.6. 18.6 nautical miles away from Grenada. I'm hoping that by the time we get there, we'll have internet before we get there or Wi-Fi or whatever and we can try to contact a couple people that we know that are there to see if they have anything that can help us patch up or if they know anybody who can help patch up or the good thing is that it's Grenada so there's a lot of cruisers there so hopefully we'll be able to find someone the problem is, is that we're going to be rolling in probably around 2 30 in the morning Exhausted. We made it. We made it through a rainstorm while we were trying to find anchorage. Light. Two rainstorms. Yeah. The light just came up. I'm so tired. So tired. But so grateful. I don't even know that that's the. I don't even know if that covers the word. So happy you made it. Yeah, happy we made it. That our boat's still floating. There were a few times there I wasn't sure if we would still have Sersha. But uh, thankfully we still do. Um, now we need to check in. Well, first we need to sleep. Yeah. Then we need to check in and then figure out where we can get hauled out at. But we made it! Yeah, we're here. <laughs> One piece. Thank goodness. One tiny little missing piece, but everything else is in one piece. All right, time to go to bed. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, you're squishing me. <laughs> one of ours already passed out. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. This one means a lot to us. Going through all the episode and editing and just experiencing it all over again, it was very emotional and very real for us. Yeah, we had a, I, this was quite the adventure and event. Yeah. It was, it was pretty tough. Yeah. So we appreciate all your support, all of your positive comments. You, you guys mean the world to us. We just want to give an extra big shout out to all of our patrons who have been an extra huge support for us. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to continue on and your support just means the world to us. So thank you very much. Yeah, we, we appreciate all the advice that we've been getting uh, on Sosha's repair and comeback. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of. Yeah, speaking of, we will be continuing the videos uh, one little crack is not gonna stop us so 
be sure to subscribe because there will be a lot of videos coming up. Yep. Brandy got inspired when she was editing the video and decided to come up with something pretty cool. So we are launching our very first t-shirt starting right now. I was inspired by watching through our editing and just thinking this is not going to stop us and even though we had some bad times we're going to keep on going and it's only going to make us stronger so that's why it says stormy seas shape strong sailors well, that's a tongue twister shape or shape strong sailors shape. <laughs> but if you guys would like to get one go ahead and grab one and let us know if you did in the comments below so we can give you a big old shout out Thanks so much, guys. You Thanks. are awesome. Yeah, Thanks for watching. You. Bye. <laughs> Bye.